guys. So, I don't know. This just been on my mind. I, I want y'all to tell me how y'all feel. Why is it that over here in this mommy sector, people are so comfortable talking about people's kids? And then there are certain channels where people are just so comfortable to gather and talk about people's kids. You know, people talk about what someone eats. People talk about people's weight. Like, how can you talk about somebody's weight and you're fat? Like, literally fat. Or think because you might have lost 20 or 30 pounds that that gives you the right to talk about somebody like you're a size 3 or something. I just don't get it. Like, if you've been fat all your life, then chances are you understand the struggle of um, trying to lose weight. And so you get on YouTube and put other people down because they're, they're fat. You know, I was listening to a channel yesterday, a channel that shall not be named. And um, they were talking about Jasmine eating and how much weight she's going to gain because of what she's eating. I mean, my gosh, if the girl is pregnant, let the girl eat. Isn't that what you do when you're pregnant? You eat? and you eat a little more than what you normally would, and maybe you eat a little bit more of the not so healthy stuff that you eat. And it's just a trip because I've even seen somebody who has one child and this fat, I mean fat, fat, talking about people's weight. Like, where they do that at? I've had 12 kids and I'm not as big as this particular person talking about people's weight and that seems to be like a, a big topic they I mean you know people are just so comfortable talking about people's family and it wouldn't do for it to be mine because I'd be cussing people out and and then you know when you say something about their family they hit the roof and are really, really mad. You know, I'm, I'm just, you know, really sick of this high and mighty attitude of I can talk about you, but don't you dare talk about me, my child, or my family. You know, it's just really, really crazy. And another thing that I have seen that I haven't spoke on is how can somebody who maybe has one, maybe two, children tell somebody how they should run their house full of children you know that's 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 easily said than done everybody's household runs differently i mean if i only had one child my household would be ran differently than how it is now with multiple children in the household and it is just, it just baffles me. And then when you look up their background, because some people use their real name on YouTube, then when you look up their background and you see all this tea on them, and it is like, wow, look at them. And they're talking about people. One person was talking about um, somebody's living situation. So <clears throat> they use their real name. This person lives above a fucking store, like a live above a storefront. I'm like, what? And they talking about somebody? How you gonna talk about somebody and you barely in an apartment? And then on top of that, they were living with someone. There's another person who had numerous evictions, numerous evictions, numerous criminal charges, but making comments in the comment section, talking about these girls so bad. And I'm like, wow, I'm sorry, but my channel would not be a channel where you can come and put children down. For example, people talk about Jasmine's twins. Now, to me, they're sweet babies. Those babies are sweet and as adorable as they can be. If they have problems, they have problems. They don't need to be put down for it. And it's up to Jasmine 
if she, you know, gets the intervention that other people feel that they need. Jasmine's children have a pediatrician. I just feel like if the pediatrician has not picked up on anything true, I do understand that sometimes you have to tell the pediatrician what you know is going on with the child and if you don't say anything then the pediatrician is not going to know. That's true. But I don't know if Jasmine twins were born early or not. And a lot of times when twins are born, they do tend to have some difficulty. They do tend to um, be a little delayed or whatever. But calling her kids retarded, calling her kids monkeys, picking up dogs and pretending that that's her son, that is sickening. And I'm just shocked that there are women who have children who are grandmothers that are congregating in that type of verbiage. Like, that is, that is insane. Now, y'all got to tell me that I'm not the only one that finds an issue with that. That is just utterly insane. And then people make a million videos about this girl. Like, it is crazy. There's even, I looked up somebody's background, and there's even a woman who was, who was a damn alcoholic, lost her kids, but are talking about Jasmine. And I'm like, wow. This is crazy. I mean, I never knew that it was so many perfect mothers on YouTube and perfect grandmothers and people who have raised the perfect children. And then they talk about Jasmine's house, but yet some of them will get on YouTube with a fucked up stove, with a fucked up countertop, fucked up kitchen, nasty pots and pans, nasty floors where you can literally see spots in the floor and they're talking about people and I'm like wow the hypocrisy it is so much hypocrisy on YouTube y'all I, I never knew that because when I would get on YouTube I mostly watch craft stuff I mostly watch cooking stuff you know do it yourself you know, sewing videos, just everything related to crafting and do-it-yourself and, you know, things like that. Then when I ventured over into this sector, because I kept getting recommendations to um, watch Jazzy, watch Liv, watch Chrissy, and, you know, for, I say for about a year, two years, I didn't because I didn't know who they were. And then one day, I decided to just click on their videos and see, you know, what it's about since YouTube keep recommending these particular channels. And I was like, oh, okay. I don't see anything so bad. You know, like I said, nobody is the perfect mother. Everyone raises their family different. You know, I'm sure people could probably try to criticize me about how I raise my children or what I feed my children. Like, people are, are literally putting people down for giving their kids chicken nuggets. Like, what? There's nothing wrong with giving your kids chicken nuggets. What would be wrong is if you didn't give your kids nothing at all and made them go to bed hungry. Another thing I have noticed about, um, about people say Jasmine don't, feed her kids enough. Her kids are always hungry. Well, you know what? Some kids are just naturally greedy. You can feed them and they'll still say they're hungry. Trust me, I know I done been through it and, 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 and can't nobody say, I don't buy food. Y'all saw my pantry tour, I got food. I have food, I got four deep freezers, and, and half of my basement is a pantry, and the other half is pots and pans. So can't nobody fix their mouth to open to say, 
I don't have food or that I don't feed my kids, you know. It's just crazy. But, you know, some kids don't eat a lot. Some kids don't want to sit down and eat a full meal. Some kids like to just graze all day. And what I mean by graze is just kind of nibble on something all day long. You know, I've had kids like that. Just because somebody's kids are thin does not mean you're not feeding your kids. Trust me. I've had some skinny kids, and they eat. It's just their metabolism is really high. So I just don't know how this girl don't fall apart with all of the criticism that she gets. It is just so crazy. You know, I feel for these girls. You know, no, they are not perfect. Nobody is. Show me a perfect mother. Millionaires, billionaires don't even have perfect kids, and they have the money to give them the best of everything. And they, their children are not perfect. There is no perfect child. There is no perfect mother. There is no perfect father. There is no perfect parents. The only thing you can do is do the best you can with the cards that you are dealt. I mean, you know, it's just, I don't get it. I don't get it. And there's a particular person that no matter what Jasmine does, they have to make a video. And another thing, y'all, and, and please could somebody make me understand this. What is the fascination with these girls' vaginas that people have to make that the topic of their video are you serious it's the struggle for content so tough that you have to use their vaginas to as a topic to talk about why why are people especially old ladies 40 50 60 years old why are they so concerned about with what's piping up in these girls, with what they're getting, who they're getting it from. Why does it matter? Just go get yours. What, are you not getting yours? And you're pissed that they're getting theirs? I mean, I just, I don't get it, y'all. Somebody needs to make me understand. I just, I'm just stunned at the, at the, videos that are using the topic of Liv's tuna can and and uh, Jasmine's box. I mean, my gosh, it's the struggle for content that tough that you got to use that as a topic. I mean, y'all, I'm sorry, but the obsession of these girls' vaginas and what they're getting. I even heard one content creator talk about whether their dude was big or little. Then they said, well, I don't care if it's big or little. I don't care. And it's like, dang, is it really that serious? I mean, y'all, YouTube is serious. Like, the YouTube game is serious. I didn't know it was like that. Like, good grief. And I personally think these women should strike these channels, like get together, even if they don't get along, just form a, a united front and start taking these channels down. You know, everybody hit that channel on the same day. And then the following week, hit that channel. And then the following week, just every week, hit the channel because that is crazy i've even heard people using olivia's full name full name that's crazy and they say it over and over and over again like okay we know olivia's name but it does not have to be said in 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 darn near every video y'all i just ooh. I never knew it was like that. Seriously? Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments. Do y'all think this is cool behavior? 
or or do y'all think it's obscene repulsive um just terrible and you know it says a lot about the people who are doing it and the people who are con and the people that are condoning it that is crazy and that's the type of behavior that just oh i don't know y'all that is just crazy but anyway thank you for listening and um tell me what your thoughts and comments are in the comment section do you think this is cool or is it repulsive to you as it is to me